Hi, and welcome to part two of module five entitled Healthcare Challenges and Workforce Productivity. As we've already discussed in the previous modules, the ageing population and also the increasing burden of disease is going to result in an increase in the demand for healthcare services, and this is quite clear. In order to address the issue, um, healthcare forecasting needs to occur and strategies need to be designed to meet this increasing demand. So for your first task, I'd like you to start off by reading Emerging Workforce Challenges in Chapter 4 of Duckett and Wilcox, which you will find on pages 95 to 96, and answer this question. List the four parties that influence the health workforce. So now you've hopefully um, completed task one and you understand which sectors influence the health workforce. Let's have a look at healthcare challenges of the future. In the previous module, module four, we discussed the health workforce and the issue of predicated shortages in various disciplines. Now, there are various approaches to addressing this issue, uh, but it's not sufficient to simply increase the number of graduates, which is often what people think of first. Some key components for improvement to be discussed in this module include things like workforce productivity, scope of practice, models of care, redesigning care with lean thinking, and we'll talk more about what lean thinking is, and then um, finally, changes to these aspects of healthcare will contribute towards meeting demands for service. So we'll go through systematically uh, and we'll, we'll try and come up with some answers. Workforce productivity is a key element to addressing the demand on healthcare services. So productivity relates to things like not just the intensity of work, but also to things like technology, the workforce team that you have, how the team is distributed and how the work is distributed and also where the, where the origin of the work is from. So for instance, in eye healthcare, the increase in technology allows for more efficient and productive healthcare. So consider, for example, the time you could save in various instances with the advent of the IOL master, for example, in determining the appropriate intraocular lens for a cataract patient, as opposed to a more arduous um, type of test to do the same job. So for task two, I'd like you to read the challenges of improving productivity in chapter four of Duckett and Wilcox and have a think about this. Firstly, Duckett discusses a Canadian study that assessed the impact of improving productivity. What was the impact of a 0.5% improvement in productivity per year compared to actually no improvement on the number of university places required for nursing? And what does this mean about productivity? So answer that question and this will almost bring us to the end of part two. So we've looked at healthcare efficiencies and workforce productivity and hopefully you've, you've gained an understanding of that. Now next we're going to look at what scope of practice is and, and what that means and also think about it in terms of what it means for orthoptists.